Alright, welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. This is part of my little mini hacking series. If I don't know if you notice, I've been doing password grabbing, phishing techniques, advanced phishing techniques, uh, ways to get passwords. This is one of the best key loggers out there, other than maybe B logger, but this is definitely better than B logger. This is completely undetectable. Um, you could use it via a interpreter shell, either delivering the batch file and running it, or just typing shell and uh, copy and paste the PowerShell the power sh script directly into the terminal. I might do a video to show you exactly how to do that, but if you know how to use a interpreter shell, it should be very easy to um, figure out how to do. Um, this file can be transferred any way, USB stick, email, um, FTP protocol, team viewer, uh, remote desktop, you name it, the file can be transferred to the other computer and then if you get it ran um, it will work it's completely undetectable by antivirus because it's a batch file and you can run it two ways by double clicking the batch file running the batch file through um, running the batch file or simply copying and pasting the script into the command prompt so um, without saying any more let's get started um, I do want to say that we're going to move on to uh, like malware and exploit type videos and then we're going to move on to coding and mixing coding with um, hacking and you'll notice a lot more coding in my videos that way guys can't call you script kitties and you're actually learning code and we'll learn into some more complex things. Hopefully you guys stay tuned and you guys that have been with me for a while hopefully you guys are learning. So go to this GitHub page at enddo slash hatkey um, and then just go ahead and get the GitHub file. Like so. And we've done this a hundred times before. So git clone. Hit enter and that will take a few seconds to download. Then you need to type ls to list the contents of your root directory. Find hat key. Change uh, directory to hat key. Then ls to list the contents. Now you should be able to run hat key just by running python and then typing hat key dot py but if not if you have an error just type chmod plus x hat key dot py press enter then press ls again to list the contents of the directory it'll be light green like that and then you can type python slash hat key or I'll show you you can type python I don't know why that made an error, but that was odd. But this is the um, framework. It doesn't take any dependencies. Your Kali should have everything ready to roll. So should Parrot OS. Um, so it's very lightweight and very extremely easy to use. Um, to use it remotely, you need to have port 8080 port forwarded to your Kali Linux box. So I'm going to split my terminal in half with Control Shift T. I'm going to hit IF config. And this is going to give me some information that we need. This is our internal IP address. It's going to be different for you guys depending on what network you're on. You're going to need to know that number. So go ahead and type. Um, uh, show. Then type set. Then type in your internal IP address. The one we found with ifconfig. Set host. And 
then hit run. Okay, so now um, you need to take this PowerShell script and you can simply type, either type nano in your um, command prompt, like nano, and make a file this way, or just open up um, a text file. pasting it and if you wanted to run it o over a shell all you'd have to do is paste the script and hit enter um, in a shell and it will uh, execute the um, it will execute the PowerShell script and you should get a connection so we're gonna save this as a dot bat file and I suggest putting it in your um, Apache server that way uh, you can um, deliver the payload via the internet. So this is your Apache folder. My, yours will be empty. It'll have HTML files in it. I'm going to just name this test. Um, if yours has files in it that you don't uh, know what they are, just delete it and um, save it as a name, uh, probably something as social engineering, so people um, think that it's a key logger, but we're gonna name it testlogger.bat, and go ahead and press enter, and that's gonna save it in our Apache folder. Now you, you can direct someone to your Apache server by um, hitting service Apache 2 start in your uh, terminal. I'll show you how to do that. And then um, using your internal IP address, uh, they can just type that in and they will see the batch file. They can save it. And that's one way you can deliver the file um, via server. Or you could do it with a USB stick. Like I said, any way you can transfer the file or run it in the command, run the script in the command prompt is how you can get a connection. So um, right now that I have a connection, I'm going to take the Windows 10 device. I'm going to open up a uh, browser, go to facebook.com and type in uh, a login. So I'm gonna write test one two three at mail.com. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not, wait, yes. I'm sorry, I did not run, um, I did not connect the uh, logger script. So right now what I'm going to do is open up a command prompt on the target device. Um, and I, you can also use your Apache server to transfer the file. Um, and I'm going to uh, copy and paste the text into the command prompt. Um, or you could just run the batch file. And you should see agent connected and all right so that's how you know you have a connection and you're good to go again you could do it remotely by um, going to uh, or port forwarding port 8080 to your Kai Linux box so now I'm going to open up Firefox browser go to facebook.com And it will, at this point, it will log every keystroke, mouse stroke, all of that. So you'll be getting a lot of information. You can get a lot of passwords this way. And um, it's completely undetectable. And it will continue running as long as you run the attack. So I'm going to write test123 at mail.com. 123 as the pass. 
or one two three pass is the password I'm gonna hit enter and I'll show you where to retrieve the information now again I might do a video to show you how you could do this over interpreter shell and um, deliver the payload via interpreter shell um, but again if you know how to use the interpreter shell um, it should be pretty easy for you to do that so you need to go to the hat key folder and like most frameworks um, it has an output folder it will have a file with the IP address and the name of the computer and as you can see I went to Facebook Facebook um, and got the password at mail123 and pass so you can see it right here mail.com 123pass right here hold on my files kinda broken up let me open it up alright so you can see that you logged in I logged into Facebook and it got the password 123pass at mail123.com so I'll go ahead and do another login just so you can have another demonstration hopefully it will come out a little bit more clearly so test 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 at gmail.com test password Okay, so I'm going to close up the text file, reopen it, and as you can see, test password at test, 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 right here, test, test, test at gmail.com see so what's happening is it's hitting it's seeing the shift me hitting the shift key to hit at so that's what you have to look for um, and it will make it a little bit difficult for you to see but you can see that I press enter and um, that I have to press the shift key for the app but you can see that it says test 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 at gmail.com and then test password so that is how the keylogger worked. That's exactly what I typed. Again, you can grab multiple passwords like this, and it will keep running um, as long as you run the attack. And it's completely undetectable by antivirus because it is a batch uh, script, and it's just a PowerShell script. So this is an awesome framework. Um, a lot better than uh, B-logger. Um, and again, I might do uh, another video on this to show you how to deliver the payload via interpreter shell. You could do it two ways via interpreter shell. Um, one is easier than the other, but they're both very easy. Um, and you could transfer it on USB stick, uh, Apache server, um, FTP protocol, any way to get a file on the program and ran again. That's how you can get it run. Um, or you can take this text here and directly paste it into a command prompt and it will give you a shell. Um, again, to run it remotely, port 8080 needs to be port forwarded to your Kai Linux box. Um, if you want to help the channel grow um, and help the community grow, find us on Facebook. Stay tuned for the videos um, and hopefully get your friends involved. Share it on social media. Share our videos on social media. That will really help the channel out, help the community grow. Um, stay involved with the channel. Uh, drop a like if you found the content interesting and useful. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this um, and more hacking videos. I put them out almost daily, um, if not two times a day sometimes. Um, and as always, have fun, stay safe, and keep hacking.